In this video, we're gonna cover how to back up physical retail Wii U discs to install on actual Wii U consoles or use in emulation. All right, so one of the coolest things about having a modified Wii U is that you can use it to dump your physical retail Wii U discs and install them into the system itself so you no longer need to use the disc, or you could use this dumping process to use them in emulation on Simu. Either way, it allows you to preserve your games and keep them safe from damage and harm. And thankfully, the process is pretty straightforward, but it can be a bit time consuming due to the size of some Wii U games. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now to get started with this process, you need to have a homebrew enabled Wii U. So if you haven't hacked your Wii U yet, I do have a video on my channel showing you exactly how to do so. So a link will be down in the description below for my Tiramizu Wii U hack guide. So check it out if you don't have a hacked Wii U. And then you can come back and continue along with this guide. And next we're gonna download the software we need for the dumping process. So we're gonna download WUD Wii U Disk Dumper. So link in the description below will take you to the latest release. And we are going to be downloading the RPX zip file for Tiramizu, or if you are using Aroma, you're gonna download the Wii U Homebrew zip file. So pick whichever one you are running. If you followed my guide, you're using Tiramizu. So I'm just gonna get that one downloaded. But if you have installed Aroma, you, you know what to do there. Next, we're gonna get WUP Installer GX2 downloaded so we can install our backed up Wii U discs onto the Wii U system itself. So link in the description below to this one, just click on download. And now for those of you interested in using your backed up discs for Simu, we're gonna download one more program here called cDecrypt. And this will allow us to decrypt our Wii U backups to use on Simu. So again, link in the description below, but just get this one downloaded. Once you have everything downloaded, we'll just go ahead and get them all extracted. They're all in zip format, so it should be relatively easy regardless of program you use. But now from here, go ahead and get your FAT32 formatted SD card inserted into your computer that you use with the Wii U. And this card does need to be over 25 gigs in size, so that way you can store backup games. Wii U discs were 25 gigabytes. Most games never hit this value, but it's important to have an SD card in size that will be able to allow you to back up your discs. But anyway, with the Wii U SD card inserted into your computer, we're gonna add WUD into our Wii U folder. So again, it should all be relatively straightforward and set up for you. So we could just drag the folders in and they should auto populate where they need to be. And then for WUP installer GX2, we can just drag those in as well. I don't think they're necessary, but I like to do it anyway. And with that, we're done putting things on our Wii U SD card. So go ahead and take it out of your computer, put it into your Wii U while it's powered off, and then get booted in to Tiramizu and launch into the Homebrew browser. All right, so on the Wii U itself, I'm just gonna launch into the Mi Maker to get into the Homebrew launcher. And your new WUD and WUP installer GX2 installed file should be populating in here. But it is also worth mentioning, if you don't wanna do things on a computer and actually do everything within the Wii U itself, if you've installed the Homebrew App Store previously, you can actually get both of these downloaded directly to your Wii U from within the Wii U itself. So for example, you can go up to the search bar, type in WUD, hide the keyboard, and then you can get them installed. And then just download them just like that. So, Either option works just fine, but just wanted to make everyone aware that the Homebrew App Store does have all these files available for you as well. But from here, we'll go ahead and get a disc inserted into our Wii U. So for this example today, I'm gonna to be using Bayonetta 2. So just gonna go ahead and put that into my Wii U disc drive. And now launch into WUD. And once WUD has loaded, you'll be brought to the Welcome to WUD Dump screen here, and you'll see that there are three options for us to dump our Wii U games in. There's WUX, which is a compressed disk image, WUD, which is a full disk image for 25 gigabytes, and then dumping the partition as a .app file. And that is the one that we are interested in using today, is the .app file. This will allow us to install it onto the Wii U itself, as well as decrypt it and run it in emulation without the need of a game key. So it's just the most efficient method of backing up Wii U games, in my opinion. 
But you'll see down here, dump target, there is SD. And if you have an NTFS formatted USB drive hooked up to your Wii U, you could dump to those as well. For this video, we are covering SD cards though, because it's just a bit more convenient because it just puts it right on the SD card and then we can just quickly move it over to install it. But if you happen to have an NTFS USB drive, that is usable as well. But anyway, go ahead and select dump partition as dot app. And then just uh, wait for it to do its thing. And then we get to choose the partition to dump. So we're gonna dump the game partition so you can see which one you need because it is labeled accordingly. So there we go, Bayonetta 2, 14.71 gigabytes. So press A on that. And the dump process will begin. So just bear with it while it does its thing. And the Wii U disk drive, I like to make fun of it for being slow, but it is actually a bit faster than most of its contemporary drives at the time. So. Just bear with it while it does its thing. It can take anywhere between uh, 10 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the game. And once the dumping process has completed, just go ahead and press A to return to the main menu here. And then you can eject your disks and put in other ones if you wish to dump them. That way you can just dump anything to your SD card as long as you have the space for it. But if you're finished dumping, you can just press the home button to exit to the homebrew launcher. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and get the Wii U powered off. So just press the home button to go to the Me Maker so we could turn this thing off. And now go ahead and get your SD card pulled out of the Wii U and insert it back into your computer. Now back over on your computer, you'll see that there is a new folder inside your Wii U SD card called What Dump? And inside will be the disks that you have backed up. So here I have Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. I did Bayonetta 1 a couple days ago to familiarize myself with the process again. But anyway, here is my Bayonetta 2 game dump here, so ready to be installed onto the Wii U or dragged over to the computer to be extracted for use in Simu. So we're gonna start with doing the install to an actual Wii U system itself. So I'm just gonna cut this folder here, the one that is inside the title ID. So it's just this folder and inside are all the install tickets. So just gonna tell that to cut. Now go back to the root of the SD card here, create a new folder and name it install. Open that folder up and paste the game inside. And you will do this for every game that you want to install to the Wii U itself. So here we go, I'm gonna cut Bayonetta 1 as well. I'm not actually gonna install Bayonetta 1 though. I don't have a USB drive hooked up to this Wii U so it's not gonna work out so well. But there we go, there's Bayonetta 1 and 2 ready to be installed to the internal memory of my Wii U. So now just go ahead and get the SD card put back into your Wii U and launch into the Homebrew Launcher. Now inside the Homebrew Launcher, go ahead and load up WUP Installer GX2. And once the program is finished loading up, you should see the folders that you placed inside your install folder showing up right here on the gamepad. So I only have enough room to install one of these. I don't remember which one's Bayonetta 2, so whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the first one here and tell it to install. Then it's gonna confirm that you wanna install, so just click on yes. And then you could choose to install it to the internal Wii U system memory, which is the NAND, or if you have a Wii U formatted external hard drive hooked up, you can install it directly to USB. USB is definitely the preferred option. I just don't have one hooked up for this Wii U right now to demonstrate it. So I'm just gonna select the system memory. And there goes my gamepad. Great. But now the install process will proceed and you just need to bear with it while it does its thing once again. And once the install process is finished, just press okay on the gamepad and it'll take you back out to the main menu for WUP Installer GX2. So from here, you can just press the home button to go back out to the homebrew launcher, press the home button to go back out to the Mii Maker, and finally hit the close button in the Mii Maker to bring you back to the Wii U menu. And once on the Wii U menu, you'll see your newly installed disc-based game on your Wii U menu. So apparently I chose Bayonetta 1 and not Bayonetta 2, but that's all right. Served the same function and purpose as far as this demo is concerned. But from here you can play it just like any other digital title. So just go ahead and select it and it'll load right up. And there we go, playing from my Wii U system memory instead of the disk drive, very cool stuff.
But the game functions just like it would on a digital version, so you have all of your Wii U system menu stuff that you can do. Close out of it. Just It's just your standard digital game now. And this goes for treating the game internally like you would any other digital game. So if you end up getting a USB drive if you don't have one, you can just copy and move things using the standard uh, data management software inside the Wii U itself. So it's really all nice and convenient. All right, so now for those of you interested in backing up your games for use in emulation, we just need to grab those files that we backed up earlier. So you'll find them in the WAD dump folder under their, uh, under their game codes here. Um, I moved mine, obviously, for the tutorial purposes. So just go ahead and get the game files transferred over to your PC. And once you have those copied over to your computer, you can delete them off your SD card. And then we're done with the SD card. We don't need that now. But anyway, we're finally going to use that last program we downloaded earlier, C Decrypt. So we're just going to get this opened up right here. And now open up one of our backed up Wii U games. And scrolling down to the bottom here, you'll see that there are a number of title options here to choose from. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the title.tmd and drag it onto C Decrypt. And it will begin extracting our Wii U game into the same folder that the app and H3 files are stored. So just bear with it while it does its thing here real quick. And once the process has completed, you can delete all of the app and H3 files here. We don't need them anymore. Our game is now contained within these three folders. So if you open up the code folder here, like that's our Bayonetta launcher, the RPX file. There we go. So now I'm just going to do the same thing with Bayonetta 2 here. I'm going to grab the title.tmd, drag it on to C Decrypt, and it will begin extracting the game for me. And now same thing with this one. Now that the process is finished, going to delete all the encrypted files here just to leave my extracted game as the only remaining stuff. And there we go. This one is Bayonetta 2 with its launcher right there. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these folders just so I know which game they are. So this was my second one here. So this one would be Bayonetta 2. And then Bayonetta 1. There we go. And now we can test these games out within Simu. I already added Bayonetta 1 a couple days ago. But anyway, going into my Bayonetta 2 folder here, into the code, if I grab the RPX, I could drag it onto Simu here to confirm that it is working as intended. All right, and there we go. It's now loading up. And uh, love that my desktop just decided to like glitch out on me. That's fantastic. Love having a big old move icon in the middle of everything when we're trying to record. Uh, anyway, here we go. Bayonetta 2 up and running in Simu from our physical disc that we backed up. Absolutely perfect. And there we go. Bayonetta 2 up and running in Simu. And there you have it, a way of backing up your Wii U physical discs to use both on a modified Wii U internally, as well as Simu emulation. A straightforward process, but it is a bit time consuming depending on the size and quantity of discs you are trying to back up. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your Wii U projects up and running to your desires, whether it be on real hardware or emulation. Here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask, though. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's video, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much for believing in what we do here and being such amazing champions. We couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.